Uh, but we'll start with the reason that we're here at Brandy Fed Memorial Park this morning. For many people in our community, this park is a lot more than just a beautiful spot in town. I went to Orange Grove Middle School here in the foothills with Brandy Fenton, and I can distinctly remember the morning 20 years ago that I got a phone call saying she had been killed in a car crash. Just a horrible accident to look back on. But now, Brandy's legacy and smile are living on. I spoke with her parents to share her memory. We remember her often. She was a big part of our lives. She was our child. It's hard not to smile at Brandy Fenton Park. It's beautiful. And for all of us who remember Brandy, it's her beautiful smile that stands out. I don't think I ever saw Brandy not happy. Every morning she'd wake up happy. She was just an amazing child. Really a, a wonderful girl. April and John's daughter Brandy was just 13 when she died. She was a tennis player, a big sister to Garrett and Cassidy, and the way I and so many of Brandy's peeps remember her, a true friend to everyone she met. I think the thing I always remember is she had so many friends. She was like best friends to everyone. And uh, the one story I remember, she had a party and we said, you can have a party, but you gotta limit it to like 20 people, because that's it was in the summer. And the next thing you know, there was about 60, <laughs> Eight people. I, I lost track of how many people, and she said that I could not exclude, exclude anyone. Exclude anyone. These are all my friends, and so that's just how Brandy was. Everyone kind of loved her. She was best friends with everyone. Brandy loved butterflies, and since her death, her parents have looked to them as a sign of her presence. Just, you just wish they were here. Would she be married? Would she have children? She wanted to be a lawyer. You know, none of those dreams ever got fulfilled. So it's, it was a sad loss, a big loss. In the tragedy no parent should have to go through, Brandy's parents found light in creating this place where people could come together to be happy, just like Brandy always was. The only positive and the only is actually the park because, and it, it was the only thing that kept me going really because it's <laughs> the community when you see people here playing, it it's, was a very positive thing for the community that came out of it. The only good thing that came out of it was the thing. Or the park. Now it's become a wonderful space for so many people to be able to share that smile. One of the main features is the splash park. It's, it's, and everything's free and open to the public. So it's a splash park that is packed all summer long. Uh, we got covered basketball courts, two different dog parks for small, little, medium dogs. There's several soccer fields that are lighted so they get advantage. Uh, another unique feature is the equestrian park, and there's common areas. There's obviously the memorial garden here where people come and can uh, remember their loved ones. That memorial garden, even with their beloved family dog Gonzo, carries on memories, as does their tree of life, recognizing organ donors, just like Brandy became. I just feel very at peace here. It's a great park, and, and coming out here on a Saturday and see everything being used is, is always a wonderful thing. We love that. We love driving by, and you see, it, you, whether it's evening and the lights are on under the basketball courts, and you see kids playing there, adults playing there, the soccer fields during the weekends. It's just wonderful. It really is. Now, Brandy Fenton Memorial Park is growing as the Fentons work to bring in a collection of dozens of angel-themed sculptures. Be probably 20 or 30 of these large statues that are going to be put in over time. So our goal is to keep the park growing and moving forward. This is her growing up that we miss. Right. So the park will grow up. Keeping a legacy of Brandy's smile alive. So it might be a little early to be seeing butterflies right now, but I'll, I just saw a moth and I'll take that as a little sign this morning. This beautiful park is open seven days a week from six in the morning until 10 at night. And I hope the next time you come here to enjoy it, you smile and think of Brandy.